Hi there, Sean here with another figure review, this time of the Star Wars Vintage Collection Darth Maul. So here we have Darth Maul with his uh, Sith robe on. Uh, I like how that the, the hood and the actual like robes part is two different parts. Uh, the hood part is a nice sculpt on it because even if you look at the top of it you can kind of see like indentations of where his horns would be. The robe and hood are really easy to get on and take off. So here's Darth Maul without his uh, Sith robe, and uh, it looks really nice and uh, detailed. He has nice texture and his shirt, and nice soft goods tunic. Let me adjust this light really quick so you can get a really nice look at his face, and how menacing it is. Uh, Phantom menacing, aha. I think the head sculpt is like my favorite part of this figure. It like showcases how long his horns are, rather than having like the standard little nub. It also has nice texturing on his pants, as well as on his boots. Even on his belt, he has some nice texturing. Paint applications are really nice. If you look at his head, the uh, red, uh, black tattoos are just spot on and movie act. Even in something as small as his eyes, they're a nice red and yellow look. I love how, how uh, nicely painted these little fine details are. All right, so for accessories, this figure comes with a lot of them. Besides his uh, Sith robes, he also comes with he comes with the binoculars that he uses when he's on his little speeder in the middle of that desert. He comes with an unignited uh, lightsaber hilt. He also comes with the uh, ignited hilt right here, uh, which comes apart in the middle, so you can have two separate lightsabers, and it's just a little thing that connects them in the middle. Like that. So all of his accessories really slip into his hands with ease, so he holds everything nicely. One thing I like about the lightsaber being in two separate pieces is that you can have him displayed with Qui-Gon and young Obi-Wan in the uh, final duel. The unignited lightsaber hilt does have a peg on it, and does peg nicely into his belt. Uh, so you can have him, you know, just toting around his lightsaber, though it does look kind of awkward. So that's uh, pretty much it for accessories. So for articulation, this figure is chock full of it, because you know how agile and acrobatic he is in the film. But the way that Hasbro did the articulation is just phenomenal to complement that in the figure. The figure's head goes 360 degrees around, as well as up and down. 360 degrees around with the shoulder, bends at the elbow, as well as swivels at the elbow. But his whole glove is basically the uh, wrist articulation. He does. Uh, swivel at the waist as well as go up and down. His legs go forward and back as well as in and out. Bends at the knee as well as swivels 360 degrees. He has an ankle pivot as well as swivels 360 degrees. So with all his swivels and ball joints, you can really get him into some dynamic poses. And I mean some really dynamic poses. Alright, that's pretty much it for this figure review. Catch you next time.